Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away, no, 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 no. It's like underneath the rock like that. God, what's happening? <laughs> Come on, go, let's go, let's go, let's go, push. <laughs> it's a mouthful. That's just the face a mommy could kiss. Let's go outside, you'll see what I mean. Check out this dude hiding under the stairs. Mom, this is... Hey, no, hallelujah, I'm away. Hello, baby, baby, my Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy, the Hawaiian fish keeper. And I'm taking you guys on a little trip today. We're gonna go by one of my local fish stores here in Yuba City. This place is awesome. I haven't been here in months. So I'm super excited to see what they got going on in here. I'm excited to see my boy Jeff, who manages the place. Haven't seen him for a minute. There it is, Geyser Pets. So let's get inside and see what's going on. Come on, let's go. Got the two boys with me today. Hey, how you doing? All right. You see that tank in front of me right there? 700 gallon tank. Look at those monsters. Got ginormous barbs in there too as well. Huge clown knife. The hybrid red tail. I think this is a Midas cichlid. Look at his colors, like a gray and pink. That's pretty. This red devil looks like he got a little, little beat up here. Tank boss by far. I don't know if you guys remember this guy, but uh, this guy was pretty vicious. He went after my uh, Tiger Shovel Nose Hybrid Marble Acora catfish when I brought him here. Let me roll some footage on that. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. No, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe I should take him out. What should we do? Oh, no, no, no. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. <laughs> See what I mean? This guy is no joke. Definitely the tank boss. Looks like uh, there's been some fish uh, missing here. Look at this red devil. It's a nice size red devil. Almost like Reno. This guy's a little bit bigger than Reno, though. But renovation looks very similar to him, except Reno's got a big protruding forehead. And he's got that, he's more white with an orange beak. And this guy's more orange, less white. Hey, this is my boy Jeff, the manager here at Geyser Pets, Yuba City. Come check him out. Look at that, what's happening? <laughs> One of my favorite things about this place, check it out. Pothos, look at that, all the way down. Really, really like an Amazon jungle vibe. But next to this, this man-made waterfall, down the plexiglass, check that out, huh? into this above ground koi pond. We got some tiny ones in there too. Look it, we got a piece of food here. Let's toss that in, let's see who gets it. Whoa. Oh, that black and orange one is nice. Look at these guys. Feed me, feed me, feed me. We are here in the aquatic section of Geyser Pets. And you know, instead of showing you guys all these different fish, let's just go ahead and hit the B roll. Ooh, let's check out some saltwater fish. I'm gonna ask you guys, have you ever seen a fish like this? This is a Fu Manchu lionfish. Look at the design and colors in this guy. I mean, look at his tail. 
his tail, obviously with those little dots, circles, it looks like an eye, right? So I'm assuming that's gonna attract prey, or it could be a deterrent for predators. Interesting fish, though. I've never seen a Fu Manchu lionfish. And it's like underneath the rock like that. Look at this. Oh, look, you got the humu humu in the background. Hey, Hawaii State fish. Humu humu nuku nuku apua'a. You say it. Humu humu nuku nuku apua'a. Oh, that was pretty good. What about you? Humu humu nuku nuku apua'a. Oh, nice job. <laughs> it's a mouthful. All right, now let's take a walk outside where they have some outdoor ponds with some koi, goldfish, and uh, a couple of mascots here in the store by the name of Levi and Franklin. Let's go outside and you'll see what I mean. All right, outside we go. We got our outdoor ponds here. Check that out. But check that out. This is Franklin, a huge cicada turtle, or I should say tortoise. This guy's a monster. This guy looks like he just got done eating. Look at that face. That's just the face a mommy could kiss. Extremely active, it's extremely warm out here. If you guys wanna know how hot Northern California gets, check out these temperatures this week. Boom, yeah. Just so if you guys think that California has like all oh, this beautiful weather, 85 degrees, yeah, you're thinking uh, of a different California. Uh-oh, the killer tortoise is coming to get you. He's gonna bite your legs, he's coming to get you. He's like a dinosaur, watch out. Uh-oh. Oh no! Whoa, he almost got you! I think he likes you, look at. Check up this dude hiding under the stairs. This is Levi. What's up, Levi? We haven't seen you guys in a while. Okay, so I was just told by Jeff that Levi here is a Cuban rock iguana. And they can live up to about 40 years. Isn't that crazy? He's about 20 years old right now. Oh, look at those eyes. Man, so he's like, he's still got a whole half a life to live. The reality of this guy here is he's gonna outlive us. That's what's crazy about it. When you look at this guy, he's not even a teenager. Jeez, and he'll live to about maybe 120. And we don't want this guy to get close to our ankles. <laughs> Check out these above ground ponds that they have here with some goldfish and koi. Uh, you can see a little bit uh, orange down in there. Oh, here you go. These look like some comet goldfish. Water is crystal clear. Ooh, look at this. They even have water hyacinth for sale too as well. I love this fixture. Look, it's just so much jungle. What are these? This tarot? No, this is elephant ear. These things are huge. Are there any turtles in here? Oh gosh, I see some big goldfish in here. This Jackson's chameleon here. God, look how pretty this guy is. Look, at, he's got his horns. Love me some chameleons, let me tell you. Panther chameleon, one of my favorite chameleons. Uh, but I'm liking this guy. A Jackson chameleon is really cool, especially with those horns. Uh oh, get up, get up. Oh, weight room, boy, weight room. Oh, weight room, weight room, weight room. Push up, push up. I'm tired, I'm tired. Ah. Check out this emerald tree boa. Is he beautiful or what? Look at the colors. Especially those little speckles of like yellow. Yeah, that's his head right there. He's coiled up nice on this branch here. Good thing I came out here. Franklin here was eating uh, this intake valve and this PVC pipe. He thinks this is food. Look at him. Crazy boy. Look at him. You crazy. Let's put these up here. We'll let Jeff know. He almost, he had that in his mouth. Come on, Franklin. What are you doing? This guy is just like a little kid, just getting into everything. Look at biting on the bolt heads. Look at him. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, hey, cut it out. Look at him. Stop it. All right, so we're done with Geyser Pets, as you can see it right there in the background. You can see my boy Jeff way over there helping some customers right now. By the way, if you're ever in Yuba City, come check out Geyser Pets. Go see my boy Jeff. Just walk into the store and say, hey, the Hawaiian Fish Keeper sent us. And he'll take good care of you, trust me, all right? Other than that though, let's get home because we got some goodies. My goodies, my goodies, my goodies, not my goodies.
yes we did. I can't leave this place empty handed. I haven't been here in months. So let's get home. You don't want to miss what I got, all right? So let's go. I'll see you guys in a second. Ah, boom, we are here in the backyard. Tiki Falls is in the background. Now, if you're new to the channel, Tiki Falls is my pond that I built, all right? Also, speaking of being new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and turn on that notification bell. That's just gonna notify you when I put out a new video. Don't forget, guys, give this video a big like too, okay? So before we get into what I actually put in there, I'm gonna sound super smart right now, okay? So it's an invasive species that I actually added to Tiki Falls. It's called Icornia crescepis, or if you wanna get fancy, Icornia crescepis. You smart. Thanks, DJ Khaled. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this camera around. I'm gonna show you what this Icornia crescepis is. And uh, yeah, you're gonna learn today. Icornia crescepis, or better known as water hyacinth. I get this every season, usually during the spring, summer. Um, for my pond, I get it at Geyser Pets, and the reason why I get it at Geyser Pets is because their water hyacinth I had great success with. But not only that, though, they actually bloom a beautiful purple flower. Let me show you some pictures of last year's water hyacinth that I got at Geyser Pets. Aren't those blooms beautiful? I'm telling you, it looks so nice when it's in the pond. So I'm hoping that these water hyacinths uh, have that exact same bloom. So we will see. Now, this plant here causes a lot of controversy. Um, you know, it's it's an invasive species and it's illegal in a lot of the states um, now now the controversy part it grows super super fast like within two weeks uh, these will create runners and they'll just keep running and running so if you actually grab one of these and threw it in like your local stream or river or lake they would spread like wildflowers like just craziness they get so thick they have a really thick root base at the bottom and uh, what will happen is they'll start to back up waterways creating dams it's so thick that when it grows on the top of the surface here it'll cover the sunlight for other plants to receive uh, so that's kind of like the bad part of this plant now let me give you a whole list of pros for this plant okay so first off this plant provides a huge shelter for fish they love hanging out under the roots uh, it keeps them safe they feel a little bit more secure as you can see my fish just love swimming underneath it um, also the root system is so thick that they actually can lay their eggs in the root system too as well this also sucks out a lot of the nutrients in the water so it keeps those nitrates low in your pond so it keeps it extremely healthy so this is a natural filtration system for your pond but not only that though it'll reduce algae too because it'll suck up so much nutrients in the water that algae can't even grow so there's a couple pluses there when it comes to your ponds but not only that though check this out when this stuff starts to die down you take it out you put it in an area and you actually you can use it as compost it's a great fertilizer too as well not only that though they did a study in 2005 that it's a great source of food for cattle and it's extremely healthy for them too so instead of spending millions of dollars on trying to get rid of this we just throw it in the cow bins and let them eat it you know what i mean you very smart why thanks again dj khaled this is the part where you're gonna trip out on this plant is actually edible it's human food yeah we can eat water hyacinth now check it out you see those bulbs right there i'm going to point it out with my finger right there those bulbs you can actually eat those right you can deep fry them uh sort of like a pork grind i don't think i don't know if it tastes like a pork grind but that's how you prepare them and then the leaves you cut up uh like lettuce you know and you can eat it like a salad so this is an edible plant for us check this out it's so nutritious too yeah i said this plant here is nutritious check it out it's 17 percent fiber 18 percent protein and 36 percent carbohydrates its leaves consist of vitamin a b1 and b2 i told you you're gonna learn today but check this out i'm gonna keep it real with you guys if you guys ask me about this plant in an hour i will have no idea what i just said I'm just keeping it real with you guys. Icornia crisepis. Ask me in an hour, I will not know how to pronounce that. Just keeping it real. You a genius. Oh, well, well, I thank you, DJ Khaled, again. All right, so check it out. Let's get into the house where I'm gonna show you what we picked up. And I promise you it's a fish, okay? So let's go. Boom, we are in the little guy's room, the 38 gallon community tank. 
Now I got a lot of great ideas from you guys on what I should stock this tank with. I wanna say these fish are kinda of hard to find, all right? There's not too many of them out there when you go to your LFS. But I managed to see two of them and I bought them both over at Geyser Pets, thanks to Jeff. Super excited to show you guys these fish that I added to the 38 gallon community tank. And without further ado, hit the B-roll. Oh, I know, fake a pay, I want you hooky, I'll let you money, 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 I'll